What's up, Wanderers? We're here for another One Take Bag review, and you know what we do here. We check out awesome bags, and we do a full walkthrough of the bag, and then two things we like, two things we don't like so much, and an overall recommendation, should you buy this bag. So, today we are reviewing this. It is a sling bag, tech sling, from Nick Gid, N-I-G-N-I-C-G-I-D, Nick Gid. Um, and you can look that up at uh, mynickgid.com, according to the badge on the front of this bag. So, this is a cheap bag. This is one of those cheap bags you find on Amazon. You may have even seen this bag. When you look up sling bags on Amazon, it's pretty highly rated, near the top of the list. Why? Because it's cheap, and it does what you think it m is supposed to do. But, should you own it? Should you add it to your collection? Let's talk about that with our full exterior and interior walkthrough. Start with the exterior of the bag. It is a nylon bag. Um, seems like it is uh, acceptable quality. Um, I don't see any stitch popping here. Um, I don't see anything that looks uh, just at first glance like it's destined to break instantly. Um, and again, pretty good reviews overall online. So what do we have on this bag? Up front, we have a pocket with just some little knickknacks you can put in there will fit a phone, it takes up the whole front of this flap. You can see there is absolutely no dimension to this. It's a, got kind of a flappy cardboard feel to it. When you flip that over, you got some interesting stuff going on underneath. Well, I take back what I said about strings. There's some strings popping already. Okay, so you got an admin panel right underneath. And in that admin panel today, we've got a flashlight, Sharpie, and a pocket knife no problem there and then a full pocket behind that it's got pretty good dimension you can see into this pocket it's gray lined and it goes to the whole bottom of the bag so you tossed in a pocket gaming device a wallet a little fidget toy and you can see pretty good sized pocket all right then behind that you have another pocket it, you can see it does kind of a U-shaped uh, half opening here, but it drops again all the way to the bottom of the bag. I've used that today for power supplies, okay? Let's show you the inside here. It's got the exterior material of the bag on the inside of the pocket. On the outside pocket of the flap, it's got a gray material that is branded Nick Gid. All right, what's next? On both sides of the pocket, you have mesh water bottle pockets. You can see that you can indeed shove a water bottle down in here, but you're not getting anything bigger than a 20 ounce bottle or a swell bottle in there. Don't be thinking you're gonna to be tossing your Nalgene in there. Maybe a slim form uh, shaker bottle, but that's about it. And they're mesh. On this side, I've dropped a power brick in. This one, by the way, is nylon. This one is mesh. So make of that what you will. On the back, you have a fairly substantial strap. It is cushioned. It has a very beefy seat belt um, strap here. I, honest to God, with all the money they saved everywhere else on the bag, I'm so shocked that this thing is so substantial. It's nice, this is very nice. And you have a back pocket right here, gray lined again, nothing special in here, and just a drop pocket that runs the entire length of the back of the bag. Then we get into the main compartment. So the main compartment of this bag has three parts. First, it has a tech sleeve. This is big enough for an iPad with a magic keyboard. This is big enough for a small size laptop. No issues, see? It is padded. I do feel like it is appropriately padded too, um, which I was surprised about for a $30 bag. On the front side, you have a zipped pocket. And I've just tossed extra video editing gear. All kinds of stuff in here, right? So it's a big pocket, runs the entire front side of the pouch. And in, in the middle, 
you have a fairly cavernous drop pocket. I've tossed a gimbal in there. You could conceivably get a change of gym clothes in there. Um, small pair of shoes, a larger water bottle. Uh, yeah, you could do a lot with that. Okay, so that's the full walkthrough of the bag. Let's talk about what we like and don't like about this bag. This is an interesting one because we got to remember the price point. This is just a $30 bag off Amazon, so it's a bargain. Let's talk about the things we like first. So the first thing that I like is actually the strap. So this thing is well cushioned. It's high material, high quality material, and it's ambidextrous. You can hook it to either side of the, the, strap, the bag with no issues. Really like it. The second thing that I like is I like this side pocket right here. Incredibly useful. I, I find myself using this pocket. I wish the other one was of the same material. I know that they made it mesh so that it could leak. You could put a little grommet down here, but I like this pocket. I wish more bags had a pocket exactly like this one. Very usable, very tight, and the right size for a lot of drop-ins um, if you don't want to use it as a water bottle pocket. Okay, now let's talk about what we don't like. There's a couple of things. The first thing we don't like is this pocket up front buckles closed and once you have it buckled closed you can't access most of the storage of this bag so pop that open and then you've got the admin pocket this pocket and this pocket accessible when you've got it closed um, you, you cannot so why is that a big deal because if you leave it hanging open, this thing flaps around like crazy and it is very uncomfortable and it's got lots of dangly pieces. So um, I, I don't like that most of the organization of this bag is behind this panel. Uh, and if it, they were going to do that, just hit it with some Velcro or a magnet right here, not these plastic. It takes way too long to click and unclick these things every time you need something from your bag. Pain in the butt. What's the next thing we don't like? Well, as much as we like the strap, we hate the back of this bag. Number one, this pocket is completely unnecessary. Like, it is giant, and what are you gonna put in there that is gonna be pressing up against your back all day long? It's not a padded pocket, and it's not a padded back. I wore this thing out today for about a 90 minute walk. It was completely soaked. Just because this thing is a nylon material and it presses up directly against your back with no airflow and no cushioning. So really poorly thought out. Okay, should you buy this bag for $30? Um, no, you shouldn't, it's not great. So Nick Gid, I think must mean uh, not good in some language, I don't love it. Um, they do have a little kind of um, croissant shaped bag, which I really enjoy. Um, and that's a great bag, I'll put a link to that in the comments. Uh, this one is good uh, for light loads and um, if you just like the look of it because it does feel like it's made fairly well. It's just got some annoying features that uh, could have been done differently and made a significantly better bag. So that's it for now. I don't recommend this one, um, but I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, and if you do get it, let me know. What do you think of this bag? Was I too harsh? All right. We'll see you next time, Wanderers. Bye for now.